I am so hungry, and this looks really good. Well, that's enough for now. I love strawberries. Ew, look at that. I'm not going to eat these. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ooh, a bowl of cereal sounds really good. But the use by date is next week. I'm not eating that. Hi, I'm Kelsey Foster. This is Sydney Wells and Audrey Foster, and we are from Custer County. Today, we are going to present our solution to the great question, which is, how can we reduce food waste? Our problem, 30 to 50 percent of the world's food production goes uneaten. By 2050, there will be 9 billion people in the world to feed. Also, 25 percent of edible food is never consumed. Our goals in this project included researching the problem by reading publications and conducting interviews in our local community. Also, we would create a workable solution to combat food waste. Our research included reading publications and organizing local interviews. Under publication research, we learned that an overemphasis is placed on food food appearance standards, and if one half of the food waste in the U.S. and Great Britain could be redirected, the problem of feeding 9 billion people would vanish. Also, we found that reducing food waste is a really easy way to cut stress on the environment, and sell-by dates lead to tons of food waste in our society. We conducted local interviews. I interviewed Kelly Safranik, the owner and operator of the Secret Garden mobile food trailer. I interviewed Dave Green, a grocery store manager. And we all interviewed Joyce and Kevin Richardson, the owners of the Broken Bow Runs Up franchise. The first question we asked all of our interviewees was, what contributes to food waste in your business? Kelly Safranek answered, too many options. Dave Green said that fresh produce, meat, and deli food make up 90 to 95 percent of his food waste. And Joyce and Kevin Richardson answered that the over-ordering of produce and employee error contribute to food waste. Interview question number two was what are you doing to address food waste? Kelly Safranek limits her choices and only plans to serve 40 meals a day. Dave Green repurposes food such as boning the deli chicken for sandwiches. And Joyce and Kevin Richardson used the FIFO, or first in, first out rule, use technology for portion control, and cook less more often. The last interview question we asked all of these food handling businesses was, what changes could you make to further address food waste? Kelly Safranek is able to feed leftovers to her family. Dave Green sells overripe produce and foods near their expiration date at half price in his grocery store. And Joyce and Kevin Richardson have plans to monitor employee activities more to reduce their food waste. Our solution would target food handling businesses in our community. We would create a fact sheet for each business. The fact sheet would have a place for the problem, possible solutions, and short-term and long-term goals. Also, each business would receive a pledge card. Under the information section, each business would fill in how they want to reduce their food waste. Then, each business owner or manager would sign the card and return it to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Custer County Extension Office. Finally, we needed to create some incentives so each business will start working on reducing their food waste. First, we decided that the first 15 businesses to return their pledge cards will receive a free commercial spatula. Also, six months after the pledge cards are released, we would create an evaluation for each food handling business to analyze how they have accomplished their food waste reduction goals. All returned evaluations will get put into a hat and one will be drawn for the grand prize of free advertising in the 2013 Custer County Fair Premium Book. Our resources included the people we interviewed, who were Joyce and Kevin Richardson, Kelly Safranek, and Dave Green. We also used some publication resources from The Economist, NBCNews.com, The Environmental Science and Technology Journal, The FAO Media Center, and The Voice of America. We have completed our pledges. Now will you make yours. Thanks for watching.